Africa's race to the stars has taken another groundbreaking leap. Ghana, a country with bold ambitions, has just launched its national space policy, marking a significant milestone in its journey toward a high-tech future. But why does this matter? Space technology has proven to be a game-changer in addressing issues that impact every aspect of a nation's development, from agriculture and resource management to national security. Ghana's new policy sets the stage for the country to become a leader in space technology across Africa. Imagine a future where Ghana is not just a user, but a major contributor to global space research and innovation. Could this vision reshape Africa's position in the global space arena? Before diving into the details of this policy and what it means for Africa, don't forget to subscribe to the African web and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the continent's most exciting developments. So, what's driving Ghana's push into space? Space technology holds the power to unlock new opportunities for economic growth, security, and sustainable development, and Ghana is positioning itself to harness that potential. On November 5, 2024, Ghana launched its national space policy to tap into these transformative possibilities. This policy outlines the country's vision to use space technology not just as a tool for advancement, but as a critical asset that can drive its economy, enhance national security, and foster sustainable development. But with a growing space industry worldwide, how can Ghana carve out its niche and even benefit Africa as a whole? Across Africa, other countries are also racing to claim their place in space. Egypt has been a pioneer with a robust space program that has launched several satellites to gather data on agriculture, water management, and climate monitoring. In North Africa, Egypt's space ambitions have positioned it as one of the continent's leading nations in space technology, and its newly established Egyptian Space Agency continues to focus on data services that benefit multiple sectors. Nigeria, on the other hand, has long been active in space, with a vision for becoming a prominent player in satellite production and launching space-based services for urban planning, disaster management, and national security. The Nigerian government's focus on developing a full-fledged space industry has driven substantial growth in satellite technology. And with its new space initiatives, Nigeria is gearing up to expand its regional and global footprint. Meanwhile, South Africa, home to the South African National Space Agency SANSA, has made strides in developing a strong space research ecosystem. South Africa's advanced observatories and research facilities have contributed significantly to global space science and technology. With a focus on Earth observation and scientific research, South Africa has positioned itself as a hub for data services, working closely with international space agencies and contributing valuable data for tracking environmental changes and managing natural resources. Kenya, too, has joined the space race by developing small satellite technology and focusing on agricultural applications. Through partnerships with universities and international collaborators, Kenya's space program is beginning to emerge as a model for innovation in East Africa. Together, these nations are building a powerful network of space technology across Africa, each contributing unique strengths. This cooperation could turn Africa into a major player in space science on the world stage, creating shared advancements in resource management, weather forecasting, and communications. The African space race is not just about prestige, but about fostering technology that can bring tangible, lasting benefits to the continent. For Ghana, launching its national space policy signals that it's ready to become a major player in this race. The Ghana Space Policy centers on a few core goals that align closely with the country's national development agenda, focusing on areas like climate adaptation, agricultural improvement, infrastructure planning, and resource management. Ghana's leaders believe that space technology can help tackle the most pressing challenges facing the country, from food security to environmental sustainability. By integrating space science into everyday sectors, Ghana could effectively address key issues like water scarcity, deforestation, and land degradation. Could this be the solution Africa has been waiting for to manage its rich yet fragile resources? The policy's first major objective is to establish a dedicated space agency, the Ghana Space Agency GSA. This agency will coordinate space-related activities across sectors, ensuring that investments in space technology benefit not only Ghana, but also contribute to Africa's broader development. Building ground stations and mission control centers will enable Ghana to monitor and manage its resources effectively. 
Moreover, by fostering local manufacturing for space components, Ghana is setting the stage to build its capabilities from within, creating skilled jobs, reducing dependency on external sources, and strengthening its position in the space race. Education is another key pillar of the policy. Ghana plans to invest heavily in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, education, inspiring the next generation of space scientists and engineers. With space science integrated into school curricula, students will have early exposure to the field, helping them build a foundation that could ultimately lead to new breakthroughs in African space technology. Programs at the university level will provide hands-on training and connect students with industry experts, ensuring Ghana's youth are prepared for a space-driven future. Imagine a generation of African scientists making groundbreaking discoveries in space. What impact could that have on the global space community? Private sector engagement is also vital to Ghana's plan. The government has outlined a framework that encourages private companies to invest in the space sector by providing incentives and supporting public-private partnerships. With the right infrastructure, local businesses can develop competitive satellite data services, space-based products, and satellite manufacturing capabilities that could serve not just Ghana, but the whole continent. If these strategies succeed, could Ghana emerge as a key player in Africa's space economy? In addition to economic development, Ghana's space policy emphasizes creating a legal and regulatory framework that aligns with international space treaties, ensuring the country's space activities are conducted responsibly. Ratifying agreements like the Outer Space Treaty and the Moon Agreement will help Ghana develop its space program with ethical standards that protect the environment and support safe, sustainable practices. Finally, Ghana recognizes that public awareness is essential to the success of the space sector. The policy includes initiatives to engage citizens, from community outreach to school programs that raise awareness about the benefits of space technology. By cultivating a space culture at home, Ghana aims to inspire its citizens and the broader African population to see space science as an integral part of progress. Ghana's commitment to the space race is a bold step that could transform not just its own economy and technological landscape, but could influence the entire African continent. With a vision to build a skilled workforce, create revenue streams, and protect the environment, Ghana's new space policy holds incredible potential. But with other African nations like Egypt, Nigeria, and South Africa also expanding their space programs, who will lead Africa's journey into space? Will Ghana's efforts ignite a new wave of innovation across the continent? If you have thoughts on Africa's place in the space race, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the African web for more insights into Africa's exciting future in space and technology. What do you think? Could Africa become a global space powerhouse?